Hey guys, it's Ash and today I'm going to share a quick video on how I farm Golden Elixir. This has been requested a lot and the reason I don't focus so much on Golden Elixir strategies like I do with Dark Elixir farming is because it's easy making Golden Elixir. All you have to do is uh, attack that, that bases a lot. Fast and efficient Dark Elixir farming on the other hand may require more work. I finished all 250 of my level 10 walls which cost uh, 3 million resource each and I'm approaching Town Hall 10 in about 2 hours and I've promised to, you, to many of you guys that I would make a video about how I did it, how I farm so fast as I finished all 250 walls within the span of 2 months while also farming a ton of Dark Elixir to keep both of my heroes upgrading at all times. Just look at, go, uh, just look at my gold grab stat, it's well surpassed 1 billion and I've only started playing this game about 5 months ago as evident from my laboratory upgrades and my nice and tidy stat which is only 289 obstacles removed when I mostly always remove my obstacles whenever I see one spawn and if you look at my logs from yesterday it's evident how fast I farm golden elixir and even dark elixir for that matter all these raids are within the span of about an hour. So how do I do it? Well, the 3 million I make per hour is when I boost my barracks. There are many ways that you can farm efficiently without even having to boost. Before I was grinding on all my level 10 walls, I finished all my level uh, 9 Lego walls without ever boosting. I only started boosting my barracks when I had reached to a point where level 10 walls just take a very long time without the boost. Anyways, I can still make over 2 million in resource without even boosting any of my barracks. How do I do it? Uh, that's simple. I basically train 2 barracks full of barbarians and then 2 barracks full of archers. And then I, you also are given two dark barracks as a town hall 8 or 9 or 10 player. So I also fill up those dark barracks with minions because what they will do is they will speed up your army camp. Uh, the time that it takes your army camp to fill up. As uh, minions, they're not only great for golden elixir farming. They will allow you to have an army ready fast. They take up two camp space every 45 seconds. So in theory, they train faster than archers because two archers are two camp space, which take a total of 50 seconds to train. Next, what I do is I don't wait for my army camp to fill up. And when I say this, you're probably very skeptical right now. Why do I not wait for a full army? Wouldn't that mean that I'll not be able to steal all the resource and lose trophies? No, the reason I don't wait for a full army is so I don't waste my time waiting. Instead, I press the next button and search for dead bases. I do this when I have about 75% of my army camp full, which is about 165 troops. If I can't find anything while well, I'm nexting for about 2 minutes, then I can just go back to my base and that remaining 25% should be complete. Why? Because your barracks were still training. Then I go back to nexting again with the full army and this time I'm not gonna go back to my base because the barracks are training while I'm nexting. Now what about when I'm boosting my barracks? Well if you're trying to save gems you can still use my aforementioned method while boosting only two of your barracks and you will still be able to farm gold and elixir at a very fast rate. And if you just want the fastest method, then you can just gem all your barracks. I don't boost my dark barracks because I don't want to train too many minions fast as I, I want to profit from the dark elixir, not spend it too much. Now as for what spells I like to use, I like to always carry rage spells when I'm farming golden elixir because I find them to, to be the most effective against bases with a lot of collectors or storages inside. How much resource should I target and what type of bases should I attack? 
your target for total resource should be at least 300,000. However, if it's a base with most of the loot and storages and it's worth 300,000, then I would skip it because most of the time you won't be able to get it all. You must be able to get at least 300,000 total resource. And when I say must, I mean it. If a base has a total of over 600,000 resource for example and most of it is in the storages in the middle of the base and is protected by high level defenses and infernos then I will still skip it simply because if I can't get at least 300,000 uh, loot then it's not worth trying and since there are inferno towers protecting that loot I won't risk trying rather I'd keep nexting to find easier loot if you're not finding anything you need to keep nexting I don't care if, if, if it's been 20 minutes I will still keep nexting and not give up if you look at my logs again then you can see that there's a time frame between each of my raids and here there is a time difference of 25, 23 minutes between these two raids and that's common because I didn't give up nexting and I was awarded with about 500,000 in easy loot. As for the type of base that has most of its uh, loot in the storages inside, take a look at this raid where I deploy my raid spell to assist me in getting at least 300,000 resource. So what I'm going to do is start by placing a minion on the left and right side of the base because there aren't, there aren't any air attacking defenses in the way. And then I'm going to attack that Barbarian King in the bottom of the base with a bunch of Barbarians. And then I'm going to attack that side of the base with a bunch of Barbarians and Archers behind them. And then once they've penetrated inside, I want to place the Raid spell right here and that Raid spell is going to just allow all my troops to just beast through this base and go through all those uh, storages right there and that was about at least 300,000 right there so it met my target amount with a total of about 450,000 in total resource and over a thousand dark elixir so this was a great raid lastly what leagues should i use this method of farming i usually fluctuate in gold one when i'm using the 75 percent army camp method as i don't have to worry about maintaining trophies it just happens that i'm always fluctuating in uh, gold one if you're a town hall 8 player you probably want to farm in a league where you can find a lot of dead town hall 7 bases so a good place for that would be uh, gold 3 or gold 2 for Town Hall 7, the Silver League is your friend, and for Town Hall 10s, you don't want to go below Crystal to farm. As conclusion, I'm going to share my usual attacking method for farming Golden Elixir with Barbarians, Archers, and Minions. Basically, I don't like wasting my time when I'm trying to make loot fast, so what I do is I sweep around my Barbarians and Archers around the outside, uh, outside collectors of the base, and I usually save my minions last when my uh, barbarians and archers have done their work and there are uh, collectors inside the base over a walls I'm just gonna send in my minions last to finish the job and that's basically it and that will be it for this short video of how I farm golden elixir fast with ease. Good luck to everyone else. I'm headed to Town Hall 10 now, so be sure to subscribe and follow me throughout my journey. Have a great day.